Hi, this is Idazable Proof once again. Uh, today we'll be talking about grid spots. If you had been following our video podcast of late, you probably know that we have we were talking about uh, snoots in our earlier video podcast. Uh, today we'll be talking about grid spots. Grid spots work the same as uh, snoot. They just restrict light, and this is one great way of controlling the stream of light. Uh, grid spots have small holes like this. They're also called honeycombs because they look exactly like honeycombs. Uh, there are different gra grades of uh, grid spots. This one is probably a 40 degree grid spot, uh, and there are some other uh, designs like 30 degrees, 20 degrees, or 10 degree grid spots with much smaller uh, holes uh, that will restrict light even further. Uh, these uh, grid spots they give a lot of options to the photographer. Uh, just like snoots, they also uh, restrict light uh, in the, almost the same manner, but it has more flexibility and it will give you a lot more creative options. Um, as I said that there are different uh, grid spots available in the market. This is a 40 degree one. Obviously this grid spot is uh, made for uh, large studio flashes. Uh, the ones made for uh, smaller flashes would be much smaller uh, just like this. Uh, these are commercially uh, available but still you can also uh, uh, make them if you want to. There are some ways uh, uh, to make them uh, which are pretty easy. You can make these holes out of cardboards and you can also uh, use straws of different sizes to make them and just glue them together or uh, paste them paste them with uh, using uh, tapes and you can make um, excellent grid spots and you can attach the grid spots to the head of the flash uh, with velcros or tapes or anything else. Uh, I have over the years made uh, quite a lot of uh, grid spots, different types of grid spots. They have their own uh, advantages and disadvantages. This is uh, one of those I have, I have made. This was made of uh, cardboards and they also have different uh, grades uh, just like the ones available in the market uh, like 40 degrees, 10 degrees, 20 degrees. Uh, this one is a much more uh, restrictive one. Uh, I don't know what degree it is, but it will be something like a 20 degrees or 15 degrees kind, uh, kind of uh, uh, grid spot. Uh, I made this uh, out of a material, I don't know what that name is, but this works pretty well. Okay, uh, the main thing is that you can use these uh, uh, grid spots uh, and make some really creative uh, lighting uh, scenarios. You can uh, place the light exactly behind the subject where uh, there is a, always an option uh, uh, danger that the light might fall on the lens but because just because uh, it has the grid spot on it uh, the light will not fall on the lens so it can uh, uh, prevent flare in that way and also it can uh, give you a lot of creative options because the light is very restricted and that way you can uh, make uh, just one part of the picture lit and the rest is uh, not lit so it gives you a lot of options. Uh, so uh, for today, it's a wrap. We'll be talking about more light modifiers in, the, in our coming video podcast. Don't forget to subscribe to our video stream by clicking the subscribe button at the top of this video. And also visit our website at ideasableproof.com. Uh, and follow our activities on Facebook. The Facebook link is right below this video. So for today, it's a wrap. Bye.